Okay, let's see. I think this is going the right direction. This is the card we're going to make. I'm wondering if maybe we should lower this a little bit. Let's put some fresh paper down. Okay, so hopefully we're good. And hopefully we're actually really taping. Um, I think we are. Okay. So let's see. I've got my iPad set up so I can stay on screen. There is a delay, so. Um, okay. I'm set up so I can stay on oh. screen. Mute that. Okay. Let's move it a little. Okay, so this is the card that we're going to make. Is that just the cutest truck ever? I love that truck so much. This was in my very first order that I ever got because I loved that truck. And I wanted to throw a Christmas tree in the back for a Christmas card, which I did. I probably should have showed you. But I thought that would be cute for Valentine's Day, too. So we're going to make that card. Um, and the way, look at this fun um, what background for this paper is. I don't even know what you'd call this pattern, whatever. I'm going to show you how I got that. So this is a machine that I will show you. Uh, not really a machine, a contraption, a product. It is called the Journey Gel Press. And these are the colors that I'm going to use. These are our liquid colors. We have Lovely Blue, Cool Pool, River Stone, which is a nice gray, Rich Coral, and Banana Cream. Because I want to get, I wanted this truck to look like it was just old and rusty. I swear I've seen this truck before in real life. So um, that was my idea. So there are my colors. And then this is the gel press. I mean, it sounds like it's going to be this huge machine. And I did call it a machine. But it's just this little um, piece of gel. Look, it's the same size as a regular piece of paper. Which, just like our um, die cutting machine, that is bigger than normal. Most of them are smaller or even card size. So this is great because you can do a whole piece of paper. You can use it for scrapbooking or whatever. So it comes with this plastic acetate cover. You take that off. It also has one on the bottom, but just leave that one on because that's going to just, I mean, I don't want to stick it to the paper. So that is what I'm doing. And then um, take these colors and then you just stick them on. So let's see, I'm going to start with the light color and I'm going to shake it up. This is banana cream and it's a yellow and this is going to help me get some rusty spots. And honestly, I'm going to break those little dots up because I've done this before and ended up with dots and I... Dots will be okay, but it's not really what I'm going for. So, here's some coral. And you just kind of, I'm kind of keeping the rust spots together. Those are kind of my rust spots. And then um, I'm going to put Cool Pool is my main color. This Cool Pool is a favorite. Everybody loves this color. It's not my very favorite, but it's definitely in my top 10. Okay. Um, I think I want more of this because this is the overall color of the truck. And this is all going to move, and you'll see. If you haven't seen a gel press used yet, you'll see what happens. So I want a little lighter blue. I don't want just one color of blue. Um, and I'm dotting again, aren't I? Which is probably not going to matter, but 
Okay, and then I'm going to use just a little bit of gray just to get some shadowing and some wear. But not a ton. Okay, so isn't that gorgeous? So the next thing you need, this is called a brayer. And this is, it's kind of spongy itself. And... You take the brayer and you're just going to roll right through all that. Now look at it. Is that just fun? It's so fun. Okay, and then I'm actually, hmm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do my first, I'm actually going to use, whoops, wrong piece of paper. Here we go. I'm actually going to use what's on my brayer and... I'm going to put it on my cardstock. See, look at that. Does that not look rusty and old? And look, I did get it heavy here, which really doesn't matter. If you can see on my original card, it's kind of heavy right here. And you just, that's the whole point. You want it to just look messy. I'm actually gonna leave that, but since I've got all of this here, I can use it on another project. So I'm going to, this is the press part of the gel press. Actually, I'm going to kind of spread that out a little bit. Um, and I am going to pick that up on my paper. Look how fun. And I will just... I mean, I've used that color anyway. So I might as well do something with it that I can use. So I'm going to just kind of clean it off on that and I can leave it like that or I can add something to it later great I got it on my mat but it came right off so and then all you have to do to clean it up is just wipe it off and same thing with the gel press all you do is just wipe it off with a wipe or you can just leave it on there because if you're wanting kind of a messy look you might want it on your next project but look most of it came off anyway. So that is the gel press. And here is our cute paper. Isn't that fun? Let's move to a cleaner spot. Okay, now, oh, I forgot to get the stamp set. But it's right here. So this is the stamp set. It's called Hit the Road. And look how cute it is. Here's the truck, and it's kind of a Route 66. It's got the Route 66 mapped out here, get an old-fashioned gas pump, get your kicks, happy travels, hit the road, keep on moving. I just think this is so cute. And this truck is so versatile. You can use it for so many things. So I'm going to take the truck and grab a block and my black licorice. True Color Fusion. The reason they call it Fusion is because it's a pigment and dye blend. And it's great. It makes it really nice. So here we go. I'm going to stamp this up. And I'm going to stamp it really well because I want the black tires to really show up and be solid. So, okay. I just got to have to say I prefer this over the ones that kind of... Uh, open them up and turn them around because I always get ink all over my hands when I'm opening and closing them. This one's so easy and you can put the lid right on right after you use it. So now I'm worried I waited too long. So I'm just going to just to be careful, just ink that up again. And now I have to choose which way I want those lines. I think I do want to incorporate this into it. So I think... I think I'll do them so the lines are horizontal and I push straight down I don't rock my stamp I just put it straight down pick it straight up look how beautiful love the rubber stamp the images are just very clear just wipe it off with a baby wipe and set that aside and then I'm gonna quickly just fussy cut this so Maddie Sarah you guys are with me how are you 
So now I'm just gonna, this is what we call fussy cutting. I didn't know that until I started doing stamping. But um, because a lot of, uh, many, many of our dies or many of our stamp sets have dies and you can cut it out. But fussy cutting is just when you go and just cut around it. Just leave like a little eyelash of a space. If you were, if you hadn't done this paper, it would just be um, white. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Sam. You know, I've never seen a gel press before in my life. Yolanda, I hadn't either. I, um... I signed up for this and I thought, okay, what do I need to buy first? So I went on, they have a website for all the coaches. And so I said, okay, guys, I have looked through the catalog and I want everything, but obviously I can't have everything right now. So what should I buy? And this was suggested to me and I thought, okay, I love stamping, but it's not my main thing. And so I thought um, this would be a good fit for me because it's more, it just opens itself to more and it's just kind of more artsy and I just think it's so fun. So there is my truck. Doesn't that look fun? That just looks like an old rusty car, don't you think? Sarah, hi, better for hearing your voice. Love that look. You are so sweet. I know, isn't this just fun? So, okay. So we've done that. We now get to make our card because we've got this. So here's my card that I made. We'll keep that as a reference. I've already cut the paper to show, um, to save time. And I've got just the normal sized card. It's five and a half by four and a half. I folded it this way. And then I cut a quarter inch off that size. For this so it's five and a fourth by five and let's see I'm I don't think I'm gonna pop that up I didn't pop it up on that just because the trucks popped up and the B mine has popped up so we're just gonna put it down this adhesive I have to say it really surprised me because I actually love using the tape runners I've used them a lot but they're not super sticky. And so they work great for something like this. But then when you have something else that needs just a little more stick so that it won't pop open, I've always had to use glue. But this is stickier than normal, um, normal, sorry, hard to use my hands and my brain at the same time, normal tape runners. So, I'm going to stick that down. But if you like, if you need something that's not so sticky, maybe you wouldn't like that. So, and this is kind of, you can see right here where it kind of came up. This is little pieces. It's not one continuous um, piece of tape, which I think helps it so it doesn't gum up because that is a problem that you always get with the tape runners. But I've put up with it because I like tape runners. But see, look, look how cute that is. I did this one an eighth of an inch smaller than this one because I just wanted a little tiny skinny red line. So, love this rusty truck. Ah, oh, thank you, Shannon. Okay, I have to say Shannon is like a superstar. She is on the design team for Fun Stamper's Journey. And so a lot of the things that you'll see um, in the catalog and on their blog and um, on their uh, Facebook page and uh, website, she actually has designed and made. And she's just so sweet. And she is has taught me a lot, too. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so here's my rusty truck. And look, this is one thing with the gel press. You're never going to get the same design. This one's so different than this one, but that's okay. This one's still, this one looks like an old rusty red truck. It's just adorable. So, okay, let's move on. I've got my, these are the Journey Foam Squares. I've got some here in a baggie. And I'm going to pop the truck up. I'm not a super fast crafter, so I need to really concentrate on hurrying so you guys don't get bored. Hi, Kathy. 
So I decided to put this kind of at an angle because it just makes it look more masculine to me. And I consider this a masculine Valentine's card. This is what I'm going to give to my hubby. So then I've cut these hearts. Um, here's the die. I've cut them using these dies and my platinum journey platinum machine. Um, these are the actual heart and then these ones are piercing. So you can see the cute little dots that it's pierced in the heart. Are these just the cutest? So there we are with those and I'm just going to use this tape runner, but I'm only going to just do the bottom because I kind of want them to look like they're just sitting in there. Let's see. This one I did it behind. You don't have to do it exact, of course, but I know it worked. Okay. Okay. So there we are. We've got all these. We're bringing you love, man. Here we come. Okay, and then I took... This is super cute. This in the catalog, I probably wouldn't have thought to buy, but we've had some bloom boxes. I talked about the bloom box in another post where it's a monthly subscription and you make four cards and it comes in a nice box and the four cards are all put in kits and then instructions on how to make four different cards. Well, they use these a lot. They've actually never used the red. They've used the black a lot. And so I went ahead and got these. And I can't remember how much they are right off, but they're way cheap. Um, so I used some of this red one. And I'm just going to line it up with the edge. And if I don't get it perfect, then I can just cut it. And I don't want it exactly straight. I just want it to look kind of like slapdash kind of. Okay, and who doesn't like polka dots? Let's see, put these, like I said, I don't want them absolutely straight. And then just cut this off. Whoop. Okay. I need to get my scissors from FSJ because they don't, nothing sticks to them. I'm very intrigued by that. I've never had scissors that things didn't stick to. Okay, now I'm going to add another one of the smallest heart. And again, I'm going to use my tape printer. What I like about the tape printers is they're just not messy at all. I mean, there's a place to use the glue, and I use the glue a lot, but I love the tape printer. Okay, now, ooh, we're almost done. Look how quick this card has come together. Um, now I'm going to stamp. Um, I forgot to get my stamps out, so let me, good thing they're close. My craft room is 10 feet by 10 feet, so everything is close. It's a tiny little room, but it works. It used to be my kids' bedrooms. I think only boys, Maddie. Only boys had this room, huh? Hi, Darren. How are you? I told Haley how your husband added me on Facebook. Oh, did he? He's so funny because, oh, be nice is a good sentiment, but that's not the one I meant to use. So, oh no, it is be mine. <laughs> Obviously, I can't read. But it was backwards, so you got to give me that. Um, I know, it's funny, Yolanda, because he's never on Facebook. He just, and he doesn't get it. So we are all kind of like, oh, you added everybody? Oh, okay. He just, he's just friendly. He's just nice. I like that about him. Okay, so be mine. Again, I just stamp straight down and lift it up. I don't rock it because that makes it kind of smear sometimes. So if you want a really good nice clean stamped image don't rock don't rock the stamp just straight up straight down that's something that I've learned since I've been doing this too okay now I'm just gonna cut a little make this kind of like a flag thing I don't know what they're called 
um, whoops. Okay, this one I'm gonna pop up. So we have big foam squares and little foam squares, and I'm gonna use little foam squares on this one. I used the big ones for the other one. Just put those on the back and add that. Actually, I'm gonna cut it a little, it's kind of big. And I cut the foam square too, but that's fine. Still works. Okay. Okay, look at that, we are almost done. So now we're gonna add the bow and the button. These are, it's not really a button, it's just a little gem. But aren't these cute? They're called Fire and Ice. The, there's two different sizes, a bigger and a smaller of the blue and the red. And don't you love these two colors together? I love them together so much. A pennant, thank you so much, Sarah. Hi, Katie, how are you? This is so fun, it's like family day. Um, okay. So I'm going to teach you something that I learned that is so awesome because I see all these cute, see how this has three loops on each side? I kept seeing that and I could come up with it and make it, but I learned the easy way to do it. And I think I might be doing it a little bit wrong, but this is working for me. So take your middle finger and your thumb and hold the end and then you wrap this around these two fingers as many times as you want because this is what size your bow is going to be. So let me do that again. I have it in between my middle finger and my thumb and I kind of hold lower on my finger so I can wrap. Then just go around. You can go in a figure eight, but if you have a ribbon or something that has one side that's kind of the outside, like the shiny side, then you want to just not go in a figure eight, just go around them. Um, so then once you've gone around as many times as you want, I'm doing a three layer and another thing, watch this. If you want a littler bow, keep your fingers closer together and your little bow is going to be that size. But I like as big a bow as anything can handle. That's what I like. Cause I think it makes it look finished. So I went around three times. You can see one, two, three, whoop, and one, two, three. Okay, now you take it and you're going to bring it up through there. And before you close it off, keep that on the right side, you're going to go through this loop. That's the hardest part of the whole thing. And then just pull it tight. And then look at this perfect little three looped bow. Is that just the cutest and the easiest? I just love it. So here you go. Boom. There's my bow. So easy. And then I'm going to take, now this is one thing that um, runner tape does not work for. So I'm going to take right here where the bed of the truck meets the cab. See, I don't even have a truck. Never have. Are you impressed that I knew those words? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Okay, so put. I'm going to put a nice little glob of glue. And our glue dries nice and fast and clear. So you don't have to stress about the glue on the sides of it. So I'm just holding it down with the point of my scissors until not until it's completely dry, but just until it's tacky and it'll hold that. Oh, thank you, Shannon. I miss doing this. You're making me want to craft. Yes, I think crafting is therapy. It is my therapy for sure. It just, it makes me happy. So if I've been able to do enough crafting, then I feel happy. And I think you should craft. You can craft with me because I'm going to do more than just cards too. So now I look at my, I look at my little gems and I used the big blue heart and these are self adhesive. So I just pull it off and just stick it on the knot of my bow. Oh, and there's one more thing. Let me grab it. See, it's good to have a small craft room. Um, this is the silk. I've used this before. This is my favorite and this is my favorite color of it. It's funny because this is new and I'm surprised they didn't make this first because 
I use this black licorice color all the time. So make sure your space is clear because this is a splashing thing. This is our final touch and then our card's done. This looks like fingernail polish. And this is one thing you don't want to wipe it off like you would anything but this. And then you just tap it and just add a little to your um, project. And look at that. It just makes it look finished. That is my favorite. I love it. So there is the card. I think it's really cute. I think it's great to give to a guy. And anyway, so there it is. Let's see. Haven't done any in so long. My craft stash fills my office and hasn't been unpacked since we moved in May. Okay, Sarah, your goal is to unpack. Even just get out something so you can do something. Because if you like crafting, you need it. Because it's going to make you happy. Do one little thing. And then it's just going to... It's like your therapy. It's way cheaper than a therapy, right? Going to a therapist, that's got to be really expensive. So there are my cards. They're different because of the gel press. The gel press is fun. If you don't have a gel press, you can just use your favorite patterned paper or just use a solid color, whatever you want. Um, oh, I almost forgot my pen. Where is my pen? I wonder if my pen rolled off. It's sad because my table's not completely even, and so things roll off, and I actually, ha they roll off that direction, and I have my garbage can over there. So I often wonder how many things have actually fallen into my garbage that I didn't know about. This is another touch that I put on it. You don't have to do this, but I think it makes it look more finished. I just went around the edges and just added a, just a simple little border. One thing when you're doing lines like this, much easier if you pull them towards you. And look, this didn't meet up, I'm fine with that. I want it to just kind of look, like I said, just slapdash, like I just hurried and did it. And then, I'm, I'm gonna do a double, Whoop. okay. And you may or may not like this. I like it. I think it just kind of makes it cuter. Oh, forgot that one. Okay. And I just, when I come to something on the card, I just skip it. Just leave a little space there. Wow, that one's not straight. Not going to matter. Okay. Okay. Don't you think that makes a big difference? That's cute, huh? You've no shelves. <laughs> Make shelves out of your boxes. You've got to do something. You've got to get crafting. Or maybe just get um, just one box with just a few things that you can just pull out. I know that's not as fun. Now that I have a craft room, I like it because I can start something and walk away from it. But, you know, you just do what you can do, right? So there we are. There's the card. I think it's fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to try to keep going this week. And I've got some projects done. And I want to do a live video every day. So I appreciate you guys joining me. And have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Hang on, Sarah. I was an avid crafter. I had a scrapbook shop years ago. Sarah, you must be dying then. Not being able to... Craft, you had a scrapbook shop. Maybe that's, yeah, bring them out. You have to tell me when you do because I know it will make you happy. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, Sarah, and thanks, everybody else. I will see you later. Bye-bye.